So a very interesting question to ask about a number is how many factors does that number have? Um, there are some numbers that we know it right away. For instance, a prime number implies that there are two factors. Every prime, the definition of prime, fa uh, prime number is any number that only has two factors, the number and itself. Um, if you take a number like 12, how many factors does 12 have? Well, um, there are multiple ways to do it, but probably the simplest way for 12 is just to list them. And when we list them, it's the easiest way to list them is to always list them as factor pairs because that's what we're really looking for is, to, is things that multiply by something else to get to 12. In this case, there are exactly six factors of 12. And listing out all the factors of a number is very simple for small numbers like um, uh, number like 12 or even 20 or even, even pretty much almost anything under 100, it's pretty easy to just list them out. However, like most, most good number theory problems, there is a very clever, interesting algorithm that can work. Um, and I'm going to show you the algorithm. I'm going to touch on why it works. Uh, the why is very important, but it's a little bit above um, uh, the, the, the elementary problem solving class. And if you're very interested in it, if you write, if you look on the online for how many factors, um, you'll probably find a good explanation as to why this formula works. But one, the way you do this is you start with, your step one is always to get the prime factorization. So with 12, we need to do the prime factorization of 12. So I'm going to do the reverse division method and get that the prime factorization of 12 is 2 squared times 3. Um, you always want to write in what we call exponential form, which means any, any repeated um, number in that product um, you want to write as an exponent. So instead of writing 2 times 2 times 3, you write 2 squared times 3. Okay, so get the prime factorization, write it in exponential form, and then you add 1 to each exponent. Now notice that the 3 in our example 3 is like 3 to the first and so it's got an exponent of 1 so we add 1 to those and then your last step and this tells you exactly how many factors there are multiply together the resulting sums So in this case, you get 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6, which was the answer. So let's go look at some of our problems. How many factors does 36 have? Well, 36, um, if you do your prime factorization, um, I'll do this one with you. The rest of them, I'm just going to give you the prime factorization. Um, 36 turns out to be 2 squared times 3 squared. So we've done step 1 and step 2. We've got the prime factorization, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Then we've written it in exponential form. The next step is to add 1 to each of the exponents. So that gets me 3 times 3, which means there are 9 factors. Now I want to point out one interesting thing about 36. If you were to actually list out the pairs, again, it's not too hard to do. If you notice, that factor pair there, because 36 is what's called a perfect square, that means that there's only one 6 that's a factor. So um, even though you've got five factor pairs, there's only nine factors because the 6 only gets counted once. And what that tells you is a perfect square always have, perfect squares always have an odd number of factors. So perfect squares have an odd number of factors. All right, moving on to 240. Um, in 240, um, again, I'm just going to give you the prime factorization. It's 2 to the 4th times 3 times 5. Um, you should have done this, I think, in, in one of 1, 2, or 3. We had 240 to do. So the next step is to add 1 to each of the exponents. Remember, when you add 1 to each exponent, 3 and 5 are 3 to the 1st and 5 to the 1st. So the number of factors of 240 is just going to be 5 times 2 times 2, which equals 20. And so 240 has 20 factors. And then the last one is 1350. Again, 
Um, we did we did this one earlier, um, 1350. Um, if you if you do your um, prime factorization, you should you should already have this one, um, and it, it's going to be. And so you're going to end up with two times three cubed times five squared. Add one to each exponent. That gives you two times four times three, which is 24 factors. Now, if you're curious as to why this works, let me just explain briefly. Um, if you have two to the first, you, you, what we can do is we can write all the exponents that are greater than or less than that, uh, or le less than or equal to two to the first. And then so three to the third, we'd, we'd write like this. And five, we'd write like that. And we write these exponents like this because every single factor of 1,350 can be found using these um, one from each of these columns. Like, for instance, it's very clear that 50 is a factor of 1,350. Well, 50 can be found by doing 2, so 2 to the first, times 1 times 25. And then, and you can do that for any factor of, like, for instance, 9 would be 1, oh, wrong one, 1 times 3, times 9 times 1 gives you the factor 9. So any factor can be found by taking 1 from each column. There are two things in this column, four things in that column, three in that column. So by adding 1, you're essentially summing up those columns. And then by fundamental theorem accounting, you just multiply those together to get the total number of possibilities. So that's why you can look more into that later if you are interested.